So about a year ago, I showcased on how to switch between the different versions of the Bedrock Condition. So let's say you want to go and switch between 0.14 or 1.3 or even 1.12. Well, this is going to be the video just for you. I went ahead and showcased off MC Mr. Arms program last time and well suddenly he is no longer updating that but thank goodness Foxy Notel came to the rescue and he made a brand new type of program which will allow you to switch between the different versions of the Bedrock Edition. But you're still going to need to get yourself the MC Mr. Arm program in order for you to download all the old versions. But for the newer versions, you're not going to be able to download the newer versions at all with this. But I will go and show you on how you can go ahead and do that. So we have ourselves the Bedrock Edition switcher right here. So we're going to go ahead and download this. And then over on here, we're going to go ahead and download the MC Launcher.zip. Now after all that's done, we're going to go ahead and move those over to our desktop and we can now go ahead and close out of here. So I'm going to go ahead and drag these over to our desktop right here. Let's go ahead and extract the first one which is the MC Launcher. So extract two and then we're going to go and open up this one and this one has a folder inside there. That's why I didn't extract it the way I did the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down there and now let's go ahead and move these over to the side and I'm going to go ahead and put the MC Launcher right over here as well. And we're going to go ahead and drag this right inside of here. Now there is another step that you have to go ahead and do before you can go ahead and start downloading the versions. So if I go ahead and open up the settings for the windows really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and go over to update and security. We have ourselves for developers and you need to make sure that developer mode is on in order for this to work. The next thing that you're going to need to do is head over to your C drive and go to program files. I'm going to go and press enter and we have ourselves windows apps. Now, you must be an administrator for this to work. You must give permissions as well. So if I go ahead and click on this, then as you can see, it says continue. But this is going to go ahead and say you have been live permission. You're going to go ahead and just right click, go down to properties, and you're going to click on security and advanced. And once you go down to advanced, then whenever you come to here, you have yourself owner. Go ahead and click on change. And what you're going to need to do is, you're going to need to go ahead and type in the email that you used to sign into your windows. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and click on check names and I have been located. So I'm going to go ahead and click on OK and let's go ahead and click on apply and it's going to go ahead and start applying it to all of the things within the area. So I'm going to go ahead and click on continue and I'm going to now click on OK. And now whenever I go and click on this, then it should go ahead and allow me to go ahead and come inside of here and there we go. So we're going to need to go and locate Minecraft now. So let's go ahead and see if we can actually locate. There it is. So we need to go ahead and copy that. So control C. I'm going to go ahead and move back over to our main MCBE switcher. And we're going to click on versions. Let's go ahead and copy that right inside of there. And it's going to start to paste all of the different files. And once that's pasted inside of there, go ahead and click on rename. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go ahead and rename this. So that way the program can go ahead and read it. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of that right there. We're also going to get rid of UWP. Let's go and put in a dash and then the other thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go ahead and delete all of this and then it should be all good. So let's go and press enter. Now whatever version you might be playing on then it is just going to go and save that number right there. So I'm going to go ahead and back out. Now next up you're going to need to uninstall Minecraft in order for this to work properly. So I'm going to go ahead and click on uninstall, uninstall and whenever that's done in installing you're now going to be ready to go and download all your different versions and I already showed you on how to download the main version of the game. But let's say you want to go ahead and go back to a very old version of Bedrock Edition. Now next up, you're now ready to go ahead and download any version of Bedrock that you want. So I already showed you on how to download the default version of the game. But let's say you want to go back to a very old version of Bedrock Edition, like 0.14. Well, in that case, you're going to go ahead and click on the MC Launcher program. Then we're going to be greeted with all the different versions of Bedrock Edition. So we're going to go ahead and scroll all the way down until we find ourselves 0.14. So there we go. Now 0.13 versions, these are not going to work. So you're not going to be able to go ahead and go back that far. But if you want to go back to as far as 0.14, then you can go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and click on download. And whenever it's done downloading, then we're going to be able to go ahead and copy it and put it into our versions folder. And so as you can see, it's going to go ahead and give us the appx file. But that's not what we want. We're going to need to go and wait till this is done. So I believe that it is done now. So we can just go ahead and copy that one. Let's go ahead and go back over to our versions. And let's go ahead and paste it right inside of there. And we don't need to worry about renaming it or anything like that. And once that's pasted, go ahead and open up the MCB switcher. Go ahead and click on yes. 
And then what you can do after that is that you're going to be greeted with profiles. Now the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go ahead and load up the default version of the game, which is going to be whatever version that you're on right now. So if you're on 1.14.6, then that's the version that you're going to need to load up first. But for me, I'm in the beta, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on load and launch. Go ahead and click on yes. And what that's going to do is that's going to go ahead and start installing the game for you again. So that way you can go ahead and use all the different versions. So as you can see, it is going to start loading up the game for me. And if everything works, then we should actually be on the beta. So we're signing in. And yes, we are still in the beta, which is a good sign. So I'm going to go and close that up here. And now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on this again. And now inside profiles, we have ourselves a new one, which is called new. This is where we're going to go ahead and install our version of 0.14. So I'm going to click on this, click on that. And then we're going to click on load and launch. Click on yes. And that's going to start to actually load up the 0.14 version of Windows 10 edition. So matter of fact, this is actually the version of Bedrock that I started playing on. But look at this. This is the old version of Bedrock Edition. Well, actually, this was before Bedrock Edition was a thing. This was when it was just Windows 10 Edition and Pocket Edition. And does anybody remember when the Windows 10 Edition was still in beta? I definitely do. But I'm going to go ahead and close out of here. So within Profiles, if I go and click on this, we have results new. And if I click on this, there's absolutely nothing inside of there. So whenever I go and load up MCB Switcher, we're going to have to go and load up the latest version of the game in order for those files to be put inside of there. So let's go ahead and click on load and launch. Make sure that choose profile is set to new. And whenever that's done launching, then all the files are going to be created inside that folder. If I click on profiles again, click on new. As you can see, we have sells all of our folders and files that are necessary for us to use. So what we're going to need to do is if you want to make yourselves another profile, we're going to go ahead and copy this and we're going to go ahead and paste it inside the same folder. Now with that note, that's pretty much it for what I wanted to show you with the MCPE switcher. And in my own opinion, this program, it is going to be very useful if you want to go ahead and switch between beta and non-beta just fairly quickly. Or if you just want to go back in time and explore an old version of the game. But anyway, I would like to hear your thoughts down below in the comments on what you think of this. And if you enjoyed today's video, then also let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe so you never miss an upload for now. I hope you have a logical day, and I will catch you next time. Bye!